Yeah, that's a good question. So the, the question is, could I come up with a structured way of modeling this that um, saves me basically in computation? So if you knew, if you knew for sure that your surfaces that you're emitting from are always this rectangular uh, profile and it's like a nice well-behaved surface, then yeah, it would probably be better to systematically test a bunch of positions because then you're making sure you're getting good coverage. Um, but in reality, uh, general ray tracers tend to not do that because it's actually a lot harder to get a good sampling of the emitting surface or the, the, the origin surface um, if you're structuring it. So here's, here's an example. So let's say I have, uh, let's say I have a, a mirror. So here's, here's a, an example. Actually, let's look at this. This is a good, good point to stop. Good question. So let's look at, at a, an actual example of why you wouldn't want to do a structured um, ray tracing in every case. So this tool is called uh, Soul Trace. Some in the class are familiar with it. Soul Trace is a ray tracing tool. Um, it's typically used for renewable energy systems. So you can model things like the sun shape. And the idea is that you have this emitter, right? The sun that's emitting rays, it's emitting in a certain direction. And we want to see what happens with reflection. So we go through, one of, the, one of the things you'll see though is if you look at this particular system, so here we're tracing this really big field of mirrors that are all reflecting light up to um, a receiver. So this is a concentrating solar system. Each of these little black squares are, are mirrors in the system and they're reflecting up to that red tower thing up there. So if we were to, right, if we were to randomly or sorry, if we were to regularly sample every single mirror, um, every single mirror is not at the same orientation with respect to the incoming light, right? So if we were to regularly sample the, the, the mirrors themselves, we'd have to somehow correct for the power uh, coming from those, those mirrors based on their angles with the original source, right? So the point I'm trying to make here is it gets pretty complicated to uh, figure out exactly what's the right emitting power for a surface. Uh, if all the surfaces are at different angles and, and there's multiple surface interactions, so usually what happens is you just do random sampling over the entire domain. Okay. But this is a good time to point this out just because you know we're talking about relatively simple stuff here, but you can get to really complex systems. Um, so here we want to calculate the view factor from the mirrors to the receiver. We can also use ray tracing to go much you know, further beyond that and look at things like, instead of just a view factor, I could get an intensity map of the light that's hitting this, this receiver. So this is an intensity map of the light hitting the receiver. So you get a lot more information from ray tracing than just view factors. But uh, for this class, what we'll just talk about is, is the view factor part. 